Today's episode is, Dinosaur Does the Guitar Hero 15th Anniversary Talk Slash Ungrounded Slash Violi Gets Grounded. And was inspired by, Awesome You Ebb Animations. Hello everybody, this is Dinosaur here, and today, I am going to have the Guitar Hero 15th Anniversary Talk. Here it is. Long time ago, November 8th, Guitar Hero turned 15, obviously, our minds in the US occupied topics and news outside of rhythm based video games, still, let's give the game its due, it's hard to argue that any music based game other than Guitar Hero influenced more people, hell, forget people. This game influenced culture, just a few years ago, you could find the game at bars taking the place of karaoke, it's an arcade still in places that, well, still have arcades, the successor to the game, Rock Band is still adding new songs and offering next generation console support, it all started in 2005 and owes quite a bit to another music game many never heard of in the west, let's take a look back at this iconic game for the Guitar Hero 15th anniversary. With no plans to come to the west, Rob K, lead designer of Guitar Hero chose to look to developer Harmonix to work on an American version of the guitar arcade experience, rather than work towards an arcade game, Harmonix would focus on an at-home experience much like their other games like Amplitude and Karaoke Revolution, the budget of $1 million was quite small and Harmonix had little hope after getting passed on by Microsoft on a recent project. Once the controller came together, the challenge of picking music proved to be quite tough to pinpoint, the licensing was important and crucial. You essentially have to get the rights to a song to use it in a game like this, the goal was to focus on guitar driven tracks, obviously, older, Classic rock songs would make the bulk of tracklist. At this point, however, many songs wouldn't clear their licensing. An example is the heavily popular Iron Man by Black Sabbath. Instead of getting the rights to the song, Wave Group Sound would record covers and credits to Sabbath would display on the game with as made famous by to give credit. While the relaunch of the game seems unlikely, next general support for rock band peripherals hint that something might still come. Let's hope for the best, and until then, give this classic game its dues. Happy 15th anniversary, Guitar Hero, thank you for listening. Why are you idiots wasting your time here? You're all wimps. Don't listen to Dinosaur, he is the worst. You all suck. Violi, you are coming with me. Hey Dinosaur, I am very proud of you for delivering a long time Guitar Hero 15th anniversary talk and ignoring Violi's offensive comments, and you are now ungrounded forever. As the reward, let's go to the GameStop and buy Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock for PlayStation 3. Yay, I can't wait to play Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock on my PlayStation 3, and also, I really wanted to play through the Fire and Flames also known as TTFF. Thank you so much Dad. You're welcome, Dinosaur. What is all of this about? Your daughter Violi just passed onto the stage and started shouting things at the Plotagonian Theater. Whoa, 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 Violi, I cannot believe you trespassed into the Plotagonian Theater and caused disruption, and your reputation is looking really bad. That's it. You are grounded 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 for 311 days. Go to your room now. Washington. Uh...